Hi, my name is Katie Atlas, and I have the sort of slightly odd triple threat job um, of being a blogger. I'm the author of three uh, young adult novels um, that are part of a series called Moving Neutral. And then third, kind of the little oddball <laughs> in the three is that I'm also a lawyer. And um, I just recently left big firm life to start my own practice. My blog, SugarLaws.com, is about food, fashion, beauty, all the good stuff, <laughs> um, or as I like to say, living sweetly. So it originally started off as a cooking blog, so I wanted something sort of cooking and kitchen related, and also I was a lawyer, so I tried to like put in something kind of like fun and law related. So then the law aspect kind of dropped off of Sugar Laws. <laughs> And then I added fashion, which kind of ended up taking up like really like probably, you know, 60, 70% of my content. The idea of Sugar Loss was kind of never that it was just like a cooking blog that would just be focused on like one specific thing. You know, it always sort of, I was hoping that it could sort of branch out and sort of be about lots of things in life, making things sort of easy and pleasurable and fun and sort of taking that and sort of expanding it to, you know, to, to lots of other things. So that's kind of where, where Living Sweetly came from. Before I had sugar laws or um, or wrote a book, I ran marathons, and I like vividly remember the day that I decided to run my first marathon. Started training for it and injured myself, as marathon runners are apt to do, and ended up in like physical therapy for like months and still ran a marathon despite it. And I think it was in some ways good practice for everything else that I really ever did in life because it kind of taught me that you can just decide that something's going to happen and then work really hard and make it happen. And I think there are a lot of excuses that you can give for why something doesn't happen but um but one of the things that you can control is is yourself and how hard you work It's Chad, my husband, like no question. When I'm really struggling with something, he, I mean, he gets me through it. He like helps me so much and has so much patience and literally like has this just amazing creative analytical mind where he will just sort of talk through things and, you know, help me sort of refine my ideas and come up with his own ideas. I feel like he gets like, you know, 51% of the credit for everything that I do basically. <laughs> People say you should have a mantra. I think in some ways it was kind of the marathon that sparked it or sort of at least like gave me like at least a way to sort of understand that feeling. And my mantra was like, when you want to stop running, don't stop, keep running. And I use that sort of with other things. It's just like, you just have to get through it. It's like, you just have to like, feel like you want to quit and like just get through that and just don't quit. The idea that sort of that tough part will pass if you just keep going. I don't think that I really understood that actually really before training for a marathon. I think if you sort of ever stop climbing, then, you know, things stop changing and that's no good for anyone. I mean, I think you always kind of want to, you know, sort of be reaching for the next thing, whatever that is.